Hi, this is your host, Sapni Bhartia, and welcome to another episode of Tier for Less Talk. And today we have with us Des McKinney, co founder and CTO of Voltron Data. Yes, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. And the focus of today's uh, discussion is a new event that you folks are organizing, the Data Thread. So, of course, you'll talk a lot about the event. But before that, I would love to know a bit about Voltron Data because you are a co-founder. Tell me uh, what a specific problem that you saw in this space, which you wanted to solve, which led to the creation of this company. There's many pieces to the, uh, to, to the puzzle, um, but uh, I've been working on, the, on building the Apache Arrow open source project and, and ecosystem for the last seven years or so. Uh, and we saw, you know, given the, the progress that the open source community has made uh, over the last uh, you know, six, six to seven years, we saw an opportunity to bring together um, key innovators from, from the Arrow ecosystem. So Josh Patterson, who built and led the Rapids uh, Accelerated GP, GPU Accelerated Analytics project at NVIDIA, uh, Blazing SQL, uh, and, and myself and my organization, Ursa Computing, to create a, a single analytical computing company uh, building on the success of the, of the Apache Arrow ecosystem. So we saw this opportunity to, to build an organization uh, that created can create you know, unified uh, tools and user interfaces and accelerate uh, bringing, you know, bringing value to the corporate enterprise world uh, through, through the Arrow project. Talk about the origin story of Apache Arrow. Once again, why you created and what were you doing at that time? Once again, that led to the creation of the project. Yes. So uh, at the time, um, I had spent the previous uh, you know, six or six or seven years working primarily in the Python data science ecosystem. I had created the Python Pandas project and had been working to, to build, uh, build out the, the tools for, for doing data science in Python. And in 2014, I, um, uh, my startup Datapad uh, was acquired by Cloudera. Um, and I started working with the big data ecosystem, so Apache Spark, Apache Impala, uh, other systems in the Hadoop ecosystem, and started to look at building interfaces between Python and the big data ecosystem and found that um, there wasn't a, a common standard for connectivity between programming languages and computing engines. And given the, all the changes that were happening around the same time with networking getting a lot faster, hard drives, storage getting a lot faster, uh, we, we were searching for solutions to improve um, interoperability and connectivity while also uh, having a technology that would serve as a foundation for developing um, next generation accelerated in-memory computing. Uh, can you talk about what kind of adoption are you seeing of Apache Arrow project and what kind of use cases are there? Yeah, so so Arrow serves to solve uh, solve a number of problems. So it started out primarily as a technology for uh, for interoperability and connectivity. So being able to move large quantities of data very efficiently, you know, much more efficiently than previous solutions uh, between programming languages and between computing engines. So you can have different computing engines part of a data pipeline able to process process the data with almost no conversion overhead between steps in a in a data processing in a data processing pipeline. Uh, we designed the, the Arrow data format and the project uh, also to, to serve as a place to develop accelerated in-memory computing and query processing. So, so Arrow has initially been very successful as an interoperability and connectivity technology accelerating database drivers. It's been adopted across data warehouses and database systems to get data into applications faster. So you can query Snowflake and get data out as Arrow, and that's provided more than you know, an order of magnitude um, performance speed up um, by incorporating Arrow. Um, but currently, in the current you know, last couple of years, the ecosystem's focus has, shift, has shifted to building accelerated computing engines that are native uh, to, the Arrow, to the Arrow data format. Um, so that we can uh, provide for embedded, accelerated uh, analytical query processing within a variety of different applications. And so what we're seeing across the industry is, is more and more systems supporting Arrow as a preferred input and output format, which uh, gives them significantly faster throughput um, and the ability to export and ingest um, data at much higher speeds as well as being able to, you know, once you have the data in Arrow format, you request data from a database or a storage system, you have these very high performance, uh, you know, uh, query processing, query engines 
uh, that can process the data, you know, wherever it needs to, you know, wherever it needs to go. Um, and so it's really, you know, unlocked, uh, you know, new levels of performance and efficiency across a variety of applications, as well as achieving, you know, broad adoption uh, it, among the, you know, the titans of industry. It's being used in, you know, in within Google and Microsoft and uh, in Meta and uh, in Netflix and in many other organizations. I talk about the relationship that Voltron Data has with the project. Also, we have seen the traditional, typical open source story where you have an open source project and then you have a company, commercial vendor who kind of supports the ecosystem through commercial offering because, you know, open source can very easily solve day one problem, but you know, day two additional functionalities, features, update maintenance, that's where commercial support comes into picture. So talk about what value is Voltron data bringing to the Apache uh, Arrow ecosystem or community? Sure. Yeah, so we are um, we are the largest corporate uh, contributor to to the Arrow uh, to the Arrow project. Um, it's a very large community. There's nearly there's been nearly a thousand unique contributors to the project, and many many organizations have been contributing very actively. Um, so we're contributing a lot of a lot of code and and pushing on on many you know new initiatives uh, in the Arrow project. Um, but you know one of the first um, you know, one of the first uh, uh, you know. The, the pr first product offerings that we rolled out as a company is called the Voltron Data Enterprise Subscription for, for Arrow. And our goal there is to provide uh, essentially an open source partnership with organizations that are building on Apache Arrow so that we can increase the probability that their, their Arrow projects are successful, that we can advise them uh, on architecture and design matters uh, to get the most out of, uh, out of what uh, the Arrow project uh, can provide them. As well as doing strategic support uh, and feature development. So, if if an organization is you know building a production software project on Arrow, they run into a problem in production. They run into a bug where you know they they don't have the bandwidth to dig into the code and fix and upstream the patch. And we can take on that that burden from them. And and we have the expert. You know, we have so many of the experts in the project. Our work work at Voltron Data. Uh, we can provide that support structure to to make uh, more and more organizations, software vendors, enterprise, you know, large enterprises successful building on building on Arrow and modernizing their modernizing their data stack and their data their data platform. Um, so so we've been uh, you know you know really thrilled at the at the response you know to this offering and given that you know over the last six years since since the Arrow project formally started as an open source uh, open source project. We've seen, you know, the initial stage of the early adopters and the maverick, you know, organizations that have adopted Arrow, and so there's a lot of pent up demand for for integrating Arrow into into more and more systems and having an organization that 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 companies can can rely on to help them through that journey um, is essential for for many companies to to take that to take that first step and to commit to to uh, you know building uh, building Arrow integration into their systems. Excellent. Uh, so, I mean, as you said, there's a, a big community around Arrow, which brings me to my next uh, kind of stage of this discussion, which is around the upcoming event. So, so once again, the, I, if I'm not wrong, the event will bring uh, a lot of these uh, community members. And when we talk about community, it could be users, it could be vendors, it could be, the, of course, the maintainers uh, of the project itself. So talk about the, the idea behind this project and also the name. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's really uh, an interesting community because there's such a diversity of applications and use cases and and you know types of types of projects where people people are using are using Arrow. So you take a sampling of any you know five or ten you know users of the project and they may be using it you know using it in different ways and that's definitely a lot different from you know consider an open source database or some kind of storage or uh, you know big data system where you know the the applications tend to be somewhat more you know somewhat more homogeneous and, and a lot more similar to each other, and so I think what what we've sought to do with this with this event, the data thread, is is to showcase the diversity of the ecosystem and the different and the different ways that that people are are using Arrow and equipping and in using using the the project and the the different libraries and components and standards that are that are in it. Um, to to make their systems faster, faster, more efficient, and more interoperable. Um, so, so I'm very very excited to you know for for the for the attendees to to you know just to see that see that diversity and the different 
um, you know, uh, kind of the, the different perspectives that that have been, uh, you know, that have been brought because we have diversity across not just um, you know, types of applications, but programming languages and you know different, uh, you know, d different, you know, so many different types of end users. Can you also share, you know, what's going to be? This is the first team and uh, a kind of common theme around. You did talk more about, you know, to get all the diverse use cases. But if you can just tell what kind of sessions will be there, who will be talking there, what kind of things folks should be looking forward to? Yes. So um, I, I th there's a few different um, there, there's a few different themes to the talks. So I will say that, um, you know, so some talks are more focused on um, interoperability, connectivity. So improving, um, you know, improving the usability and, and the efficiency of, of, of systems, uh, systems being plugged together. Um, some talks are more focused on uh, improving performance and getting the most out of modern modern hardware, uh, whereas other talks are more are, are also focused or will we'll discuss more uh, improving the usability and the user interfaces for interacting with analytical systems. So one of the you know one of the, the side goals of or you know I would say it's a principal goal of Arrow is to make uh, big data systems significantly easier to use. And one of the, you know, the objectives of, you know, Voltron data is to enable the whole ecosystem to be substantially more modular so that components can be interchanged, um, you know, more and more easily, whether that's using different types of hardware or different programming languages, uh, being able to reuse and, and uh, repurpose systems across different, uh, different environments. And so I think, you know, to have, you know, real, real world users, you know, uh, developers, users showing how they've successfully um, taken advantage of these these ideas to to create systems that are more maintain maintainable and more usable, I think is very you know, is very interesting. So there's a lot to offer I mean, end users, data scientists, and and data analysts who are more um, focused on the the user interface and kind of actually in, in doing real world um, data science projects. And but there's also a lot to interest more of the you know the data engineers, the backend infrastructure developers who are really focused on doing work at the at the systems level. Yes, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about not only the company Voltron Data but also the event, the community. And uh, I'm looking forward to this event. Hopefully, we can do this the coverage of this event in person in future. But good luck with this event, and uh, I love to have you back on the show again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing everyone at the at the event next week.